Hi there, my name is Anna and welcome back to my art channel. In today's video I'm painting this really cute little baby elephant using watercolors and he's holding a little blue balloon and I'm actually painting this for my own little baby boy who's going to be born uh, sometime in September and uh, possibly that was the reason why I really enjoyed painting this. Um, also of course the elephant is just really cute and I just really enjoyed the painting process here. Um, I was looking at nursery decorations on Pinterest and I saw a lot of little baby animals holding balloons um, and they were usually more cartoonish and as I didn't want to copy somebody else's work one to one I chose to um, find my own reference photo of a little baby elephant and um, since I'm not very well practiced in making a cartoon out of something realistic <laughs> I just choose, uh, chose to um, paint a more photorealistic little elephant and as this elephant was cute enough as it was I, I think it turned out really cute anyway even though I didn't have to or I didn't exaggerate any of the features. Um, there's different types of elephants and this type has really big ears so that kind of lent itself to what I was going for um, without having to change up what was reality. <laughs> the only thing I added was then the balloon that came out of my imagination. <laughs> um, another reason why I really enjoyed this painting I think was because I drew it on my favorite type of or uh, the type of watercolor paper I'm more, most used to working on. I have this little block of different types of watercolor paper from the company Hanemühle and um, yeah I got this as a present and it was really nice to try out different types of papers and the one I used previously to this painting was actually a, um, a cotton watercolor paper which I don't use very often and for some reason <laughs> I really struggled with painting on that it just kind of the water reacted differently the paintbrush didn't glide over the surface the same way I couldn't lift the same way I was used to so it was really nice going back to the kind of watercolor paper that I'm used to which is um, Hannemühle Britannia watercolor paper I find that to be really good for the way I paint and I'm used to working with it so I, uh, I really enjoyed this painting <laughs> as I said a couple of times. Um, I'm using for most of this painting I'm using a mixture of blue and brown. Um, I'm using different shades of reddish brown here and I'm adding um, a dark indigo and sometimes ultramarine to the mix and the mix is always different so it gives me a lot of variation and I change it up to um, accommodate my needs. Some areas of the elephant are just a bit more reddish, some areas of a skin some are a bit more bluish and then I thin out the paint where the skin is a bit lighter and in the shadow areas obviously I use a more intense and a very neutral mixture for the shadow areas. I work wet into wet a lot here or just smooth areas out after I've put the paint down using a lot of water which can give a similar smooth kind of effect but I liked the way um, the different colors kind of flowed into each other here and um, yeah just the, the way that the skin is smooth in some areas and in other areas of course I will work wet on to dry to add all the little creases and wrinkles and all the detail. It's important if you want to preserve that crisp edge when you're doing detail work or if you are working next to an area that you had already painted it's important to wait for whatever was beside or underneath what you're drawing now to dry so you don't have any um, unwanted bleeding. And you can see um, I'm just really taking my time here and always adding more detail, adding more layers of washes as well. So of um, wet paint. And I'm just kind of building up the texture and the colors as I go along. And you have a decent amount of contrast here because of the shadow areas and the creases of the elephant and then the relatively light skin that is hit by light. Uh, 
And I believe for the entire painting process, I just used one round paintbrush. Round paintbrushes are great for this because usually they have a relatively fine tip, which you can use for details, but they also have a decently sized belly, which you can use for larger washes. Well, it's not a very large paintbrush in this case, but it uh, suited my needs pretty well. So that's basically the entire process. I keep um, adding more detail, more creases. Then I'll add some more washes over some areas to darken them or to change the color a little bit. And those I will oftentimes smooth out with some, with some water so I don't have harsh edges in those areas. So yeah, you have areas that are nicely blended and areas that have nice contrast um, are crisp edges in that case for the detail and I keep remixing my paint and it, the mixtures don't have to be the same every time I just like the the variation and basically more or less I'm just using two colors I mean I'm using different types of of browns and blues but basically it's just brown and blue I'm using for this entire elephant and yet I find he looks fairly interesting he doesn't look all just one color just because the um, intensity and the um, amount of which color I'm using kind of variates. Yeah and you can see the darkest areas are kind of um, closest to the inside of the elephant basically there where his head and trunk will kind of cause a shadow on the legs and that one back leg there and um, his left front leg have a lot of shadow on them and I'm adding some detail to his little trunk as well all those little folds and creases I enjoy this kind of painting where I can just take my time and slowly build up what I'm going for. Where doesn't everything doesn't have to work out perfectly in the first go. I can just kind of keep building until I get the result I like. You can see a lot of those blobs of paints that I'm adding here. I will then again smooth out with some water and a clean paintbrush, obviously. Sorry about my head being in the way for a lot of this. I guess I uh, needed to be close to the paper in that case <laughs> to see what I was doing properly. Now I'm painting in some dried grass at the bottom of his feet. I'm using a very yellowish green for this. And I'm not painting in a lot of background at all, just a little bit of grass here. And then I'll be adding the balloon now. And I'm using a kind of a muted bluish green. I just thought it kind of goes with the with the natural team and the, the coloring of the elephant and just the general color concept that I'm going for. And I get this nice round impression by leaving the center left corner of the balloon the lightest and around the edges it's slightly darker and especially around the right hand edge. And I have nice smooth transition here by painting wet into wet or smoothing 
things out with my paintbrush and that way you kind of get that three-dimensional dy look to the balloon adding some more detail to the grass and I'm nearly finished at that po this point I hope you like my little baby elephant he's going to be hanging in my son's nursery soon and I hope you like this video remember to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel so I hope to see you again soon in one of my next videos take care and bye bye